Jack Carroll. Yeah. A big, big preview for Jack Carroll. I'm here with Paul Sebastiani. Paul, Jack's yep. born on the 20th of December, 2002. He's played six games in his career. And I think because of the way the list has evolved and the list changes that we made, there's this perception that it's a really important year for Jack Carroll in his development because he now gets maybe a little bit more opportunity to show what he's yeah. what he's done. Um, you've watched a lot of the VFL Yep. Um, over the last few years, yep. or really always. Um, mm -hmm. So you've watched a lot of him. Mm. How do you feel about him moving into 24? Yeah, he's still very, very raw and very, very young. So it's no, I don't think we've got a true gauge of what he's capable of just yet. His VFL form, I think, sort of fluxed last year a little bit. But I think what's going to occur this season is he'll, he'll play VFL in the first bit. There's no doubt about that. But he's going to have the added responsibility of taking the reins of the VFL midfield for the first half of the season, because there is no doubt there is no Fisher. So he just by state of where the list is at gets catapulted into an on ball role in the VFL where he's going to need to take more responsibility and he's going to be one of the guys in there that's going to have to lead the way. So he's definitely put on more size, which is something that needs to, that needed to happen because he was slight. So um, one thing you'll notice too with him in the VFL, he's just a clearance, I don't want to say clearance king, but he, his first frame of thought as well is to, when he gets ball at the contest, is all right, gain territory, clear the ball, and then the second option is to try and dish off by a hand. So I think the decision-making side of things for him will just continue to hopefully get better. So striking the balance between knowing when to dish off the handball to a better option and, and gain territory when he needs to. So um, there was a, you know, there was a wing role that opened up for him in the first part of his, um, I think it was under the first part of his tenure with Vossi. I remember when he played that North Melbourne game and a few times in 2022 where he did line up on the wing. He didn't look completely comfortable at the level. I remember that Collingwood game he played in 2022 where, did he come on a sub? Potentially. He came on as a sub, yeah, when we were wearing the... Um, uh, the colourful top, the Indigenous tops, and he got, he looked like a deer in the headlights a few times. So uh, I remember he got run down, tackled when he had acres of space to run into, and he just, he just, he just didn't look, he didn't look at home. I remember the first goal he kicked against North Melbourne, and everyone got around him, and everyone thought, okay, yeah, this guy's got something. Um, but again, he's only how old? He's twenty one. He's, he's still young. He's, he's still a kid. It's very young. He's I still mean, a he's, kid. This will be his fourth season yeah, yeah. in the system. He didn't play in 2021. Um, 2022, as you mentioned, the North Melbourne game, played against Adelaide the week after. It was really his first two games where mm. there was a bit of excitement, like, oh, yeah, like very yeah, young yeah, yeah. player, 20-year-old, yep. 19 yep. touches, 18 touches. And then it, it did tail off a little bit in 22. Mm. And then 23, we only saw him once in round four against North Melbourne. We didn't see him for the rest of the year. So... I wouldn't say it's like make or break for him, but nah. I would just say you, you got to take your opportunities when they present themselves. And I feel yeah. like with Dow leaving and, as you said, with Fisher leaving and Ed Kerno leaving as well, like in that VFL side, like if he can put a really strong season together in that first yep. block of the, <clears throat> the season in the, in the reserves, hmm. you, we may see a little bit more of him in the AFL in the, in the back end of the year. And the reality is we need someone from this younger group to show us something for you know moving forward. Yeah, and I think what's good about him is his point of difference is that he's a left-footed midfielder as yep. well. So he can change yep. the angles if he is in the team as well, which is which is a very, very important thing in the game with the zonal marking and, you know, zonal defences and all that kind of stuff behind the ball. So, uh, look, is he going to play early in the season? I would think not. Uh, but that's only just because he hasn't really been – I think his VFL – stature now will only rise because of what's happened with the list and you know th yep. there's a clear there's a clear sign by our list management that they're backing him in as that 21 you know that sort of 21 to 22 year old age bracket and younger that he's going to be the one down in the vfl to lead that brigade in the midfield and how how he handles the extra responsibility we don't know because we haven't seen it yet so he could you know he, he could thrive I'm thinking it will. He he's one of the players that I picked out from left of field to to really take the next step um, and elevate his game and and put together a, a a consistent body of senior football 
in in our AFL team, what that looks like. It could be, I don't know, it could be only six to eight games this season. And then you build on that and you continue to grow. I'm bullish on him. I also yeah. love that he, Dirds and Motlop live together. Because <laughs> like you just... You, they're all hard workers, all of yeah, them yeah, in their course, own right. Course, and I, I, I'm sure they would they bounce off each other and I'm sure their yeah. relationship is strong as well. Uh, I have this, you know, picture in my head. I think we've only seen it for one game, maybe two, where all three mm. of them have played. So, you know, there's 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 a nice environment that yeah. I feel totally comfortable with yeah. and confident in as a fan, knowing, all right, what's his away from footy like? Yeah, what's yeah, he yeah. around? Yeah, um, yeah. So no issues there. I just hope that we get to see a bit more of him. I'd like to see a bit more of him this season. I'd like to see him at least by the end of 2024 to be talking about him in the vein of, oh, all right, 2025, yeah. we definitely have one in Jack Carroll. Like I'm confident he yeah. can get there, but I, I still think there's there's a there's a step for him to take this year. Yeah. I agree with that. I think, uh, you know, you want to get to the end of the year where, like I said, he's played a six to eight game block. Yep. Uh, and that then entails a a contract extension, really. That, yep. That's that's what he'd be looking at individually. And I think if he can if he can hit that marker, there's there's absolutely no doubt that he'll um he'll get signed on for probably, you know probably be a two year deal something like that is what they'd sign him up for at the back end. So. Again, he's he's he is probably he is bottom rung midfield at the moment, but that's just purely based on his scenario. He's only twenty one years old, and he's he's barely been able to show what he's got. So, um, I'm I'm predicting a big year for him, just with regards to influence at AFL level, and the influence at AFL level may be because his form at VFL is is stellar, and that you know the floor gets raised again. That's that's what we've always spoken about. The floor just needs to continue to be raised. So. For me, there's more upside with him compared to guys like Fisher and Dow because they, you know, they probably reached their, you know, they probably reached their ceiling. You know, they're, you know, hitting 25 years old. Those blokes and what you see is what you get with them. Can they perform better in a different system? Maybe who knows? They're not our players anymore. So, like I said, list management has backed in Jack Carroll. Mm. You know, and it's not a Long case term. of we had the option of Dow, Fisher, or Carroll. It's more along the lines of okay, well, these two guys are gone, but we've got this guy here. So long term, let's say yep. five years from now, like what is the scope for him? What does his ceiling look like? What is he? Yeah, just I just I'd just say pure on baller, to be honest. Yeah, yeah I'd say pure on baller. Like I said, that there was there was the mode there where we did line him up on the wing a few times, which would suggest his running ability is not too bad, but just with where our wings are at at the moment and the players we've got there, I don't see him playing any role there unless it's a minimal rotation or something like that. I don't see him there. Um, yeah, for, for me, it's just pure on ball, I would suggest. And I think each AFL team, like premiership teams, you need you need at least seven to nine on ball rotations for me, whether mm -hmm. that's pure midfielders or... Uh, midfield slash forwards or defender slash forwards. You, you need at least seven to nine rotations on the ball. And I'm hoping he's one of those. I think mm. he will be. I think he will be. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're hoping for it. It's a big year for Jack. It's and, huge. Uh, Massive. We'll see what happens. So those of you watching at home, let us know.